Reminds me of Congress. Million fewer people working today than before COVID, and and that is quite alarming and i think it has to do a lot with um uh, disincentives to go back to work you mentioned earlier that we've ended the uh, supplemental uninsurance uh, uh, unemployment insurance which is good i'm not sure it was reflected in these numbers but that was the right thing to do but you still have the government sending checks to families with children you still have food stamps you still have rental assistance and then you have this agenda of biden's that is going to expand the social safety net significantly and and that is the wrong approach to take when this economy is starved for workers even as employers are, are, are increasing wages we still can't get people back to work Chucky I want to pick up on that Quinnipiac poll that I was discussing just a moment ago with Senator Coons I want to put up some numbers on a number of key issues the coronavirus the economy his job as commander-in-chief uh, the way he's handling the border. More people disapprove of the job Joe Biden is doing than approve. In some cases, as you can see there at the bottom of the screen, a lot more people disapprove. Your sense, how worried is th this White House about the drop in support for the president? Same question I asked Chris Coons. Do they see it as just a rough patch he's going through or something more troubling than that? Yeah, Chris, uh, look, I think with Trump out of the way here, Biden is now finally standing on his own record. And voters, independents in particular, are making uh, a more clear judgment. The White House has publicly um, said that there's a lot of time here for the for Biden's domestic agenda to get done. But I think privately, if you talk to lawmakers on Capitol Hill, uh, there is concern that the clock is ticking and a number of very consequential things have all stacked up on top of each other um, from getting comprehensive immigration reform done to these two stalled infrastructure bills uh, to voting rights, which has really largely dropped out of the picture because of all of the drama on Capitol Hill in recent weeks um, over the uh, debt limit and these two salt infrastructure bills but look biden's numbers with independence have dropped by 19 points uh since he was elected a big drop of that happening over the summer that's why i think you see so many democrats actually this silent majority really at least on the house side who are very keen to get the bipartisan infrastructure bill done asap um so that at least at the end of the year biden and these vulnerable democrats can go into 2022 to speak to that and and to education for girls and women, both high school and at the university level. It warned against a return to the harsh Taliban rule from the 1990s when they first controlled Afghanistan and banned women from school, the workplace, and from public life. A new River of Theory Academy at West Point, New York in 1976 with a commission in field artillery. He served a wide range of Army and Defense Department roles with multiple tours abroad, including Iraq, Germany, Albania, and Kuwait. As a three-star general, he was assistant to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, a job that made him the main military advisor to the Secretary of State. Odenio served three tours in Iraq, and soldiers of his 4th Infantry were involved in the capture of Iraq's deposed president, Saddam Hussein, in December of 2003. He was succeeded in 2010 by General Lloyd Austin, who is now the Secretary of State. During his military career, he earned a Master of Science degree in nuclear effects engineering from North Carolina State. Protesters and fire projectiles towards crowds after thousands had demonstrated against the new government rules earlier in the day. The certification in Italy, known as a Green Pass, is set to take effect on October the 15th and requires people to have either a COVID-19 vaccine or recent negative tests to have access public and private workplaces. Both employees and employers risk fines if they do not comply. Workers in the public sector say they can be suspended if they show up five times without a Green Pass. According to local state media and a newspaper, among the protesters were proponents of an extreme right-wing group called Forza Nuova. Similar protests took place Saturday in other Italian cities, including Milan and Trento. Residents in Central Africa's Democrat... It's interesting to me that you, you, you sort of admit that you got, you got into that White House. Uh, perhaps you wouldn't have gotten there uh, with another campaign. Did he take advantage of you? 
I think that I, I don't want to pin that on him. I definitely got very excited to be around this glamorous world of the Trumps. And certainly when I got into the White House, you do get heady with power. I don't know that he took advantage of me in that regard. I think that that was my own uh, weakness there. I wish I would have been a bit stronger. You know, I've heard from several former Trump staffers, some of whom who share your concerns about him, but say that every decision you made was always in the best interest of yourself, whether it was to stick in order to get a good job in the White House or now to do a tell all when you need to make money. What do you say to that criticism? Well, two things. If there are people who are sharing my same concerns, I wish they would speak up because Right now, looking back, I don't think is what's as important in terms of personalities and who did what, why. But I would disagree with that wholeheartedly. When I was in the White House, I lost a lot of friends and a lot of family, and I think I lost a little bit of my own moral compass. Um, and now leaving, you know, yes, I got paid to write a book, but I, you cannot put a price tag on what is happening to me now. The right is mad at me. The left is mad at me. My family is getting threats. I'm being smeared, I'm being sued. I knew all of that would happen. So when I wrote this book, I knew this was gonna be a very, very tough battle. Uh, so yes, I got paid, but there is no price tag for, um, for what's going on. I just find it to be very, very important for the country looking forward. You said you, one of the reasons you're speaking out is you hope he doesn't run in 2024. If he does, do you plan to actively work against him? If I'm asked to, um, if, if there's anybody who wants me to speak out or talk, yes, I, I will. I think that, you know, I had a very unique perspective in that I worked for the former president, I worked for Mrs. Trump, and I worked for both of them at the same time. I know the way they think, I know the way they try to distract, and if there's any way I can be helpful to help decipher some of those movements and what's really going on, I, I would do that, yes. Do you think if he's elected again, he'll destroy the democracy? I think it will be a very terrifying time. I think you think he's on a revenge tour right now, right, with the the people who voted to uh, impeachment, peach him. I think it will be nothing but revenge, retribution, and how he can benefit himself. Uh, there will be pardons happening. I think there will be very draconian policies that go way too far. So I believe if he is uh, reelected again, it will be a really, really scary time. With a goal of keeping it, 1.5 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial levels. The event is also focused on mobilizing financing to fight climate change and protecting vulnerable communities and natural habitats. From the runway to the sub-pinters and fire projectiles towards crowds after thousands have demonstrated against the new government rules earlier in the day. The certification in Italy, known as a Green Pass, is set to take effect on October the 15th and requires people to have either a COVID-19 vaccine or recent negative test to have access public and private workplaces. Both employees and employers risk fines if they do not comply. Workers in the public sector say they can be suspended if they show up five times without a Green Pass. According to local state media and a newspaper, among the protesters were proponents of an extreme right-wing group called Forza Nuova. Similar protests took place Saturday in other Italian cities, including Milan and Trento. Residents in Central Africa's Democratic... Tell President Biden, say no to the left-wing squeeze on Medicare. Stop messing with Medicare. Well... I was rudely awakened this morning by the fire alarm going off. I get up. I get my coffee going. I call 911. The water, uh, the alarm gets turned off. But the strobes are still flashing. And, uh... I leave my apartment and turn the corner to go to the elevator and there's water all over the floor. Why? I haven't a clue. Uh, this isn't the first time I had, had problems in that area getting water. Don't know what went bad, where, or why. But I'm not happy, Camper, because the water's gotten turned off. Oh, you know what that means. 
Oh, see that green one down there? That is sweet. Uh, bender skirts and everything. Sounds good, too. This was a library. Now... You can buy $250 shoes here. $300 pair of shoes. That right here was Finley's Hardware Store. You can find any anything you wanted. Anything. Finley's Hardware. That's what it used to be. There's always got to be that numb skull. Leave it where it don't belong. We are here for your needs. So if you guys need anything, please feel free to reach one of us. And once again, my name is Marquis. I'm the store manager here. So are we ready for the raffle? Okay, we got one more raffle. One more, one more. Make sure you get your raffle ticket in, guys, so we can go ahead and get your account for While you speak, just stop by, make sure you get some popcorn, cotton candy, and we have a bar. We have a bar. And the bar ain't free though, but the bar is open. It's not free, but the bar is open. So we do have a bar here for you guys. Uh, beverages. Are we ready? Reminds me of Congress. <laughs> 